Hey guys, so we're gonna talk about uh, today is memory, okay? So, you know, some of you may be asking, well, what is what's the point of computer memory? And hopefully that's uh, somewhat obvious. Uh, well, it's to store information, just in case you didn't know. Um, but you may be wondering what kind of information. So, the type of information that they usually store, well at least that what we're going to be talking about, is usually numbers that we're not using currently, but we will use again. So uh, you may be wondering how would we make a, a memory cell using the gates that we've learned, and uh, how would we store information in that. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. So on the next slide. Uh, we have what you would usually think of as memory. You know, it looks like a bunch of chips on uh, a printed PCB. But, well, it, it's not just that. Uh, we're going to check on the next slide, and I'm going to show you how a, a memory cell is made. So, uh, what we have here is what is called an RS NOR latch, because it has the NORs, two of them. Um, and it has a non-inverted one and a inverted one. So usually whenever you have this line over here, it usually means that output is inverted. And this one is not. So uh, what we have here is we have an inverted output going into this NOR gate. And if you remember, remember uh, if there's an input going in here, the output is off. So then, since there's no output, this is not being activated. Uh, I hope that makes sense, but if not, I'm going to try to show you it in action, okay? So let's just say that this is on, okay? So there is an output going into here, and then um, no output going into here. So if we press this, it will turn off this, thus turning off this signal. So you may be wondering, well, how do we get how do we get that signal back? And that is what this set is for. So whenever you set it, um, then that signal will turn on uh, and it, it, it can be done over and over. Now these R and S um, and then also the Q and the Q uh, well, they can be interchanged. You can, you know, uh, move them to wherever you need. Uh, it's just, it's just how the gate comes out. So, um, now this isn't that useful uh, in computing. It is in some cases, but uh, not so much right here. Like just using this gate, we, we can't just use this gate. It, it doesn't work like that. Um, but we're going to get into something uh, that could be used as a memory cell. And I'll show you that. Okay. So this is what is called a D flip flop or a proper memory cell, one that we can actually use uh, to store data temporarily. So, um, maybe wondering what's going on here. This, this doesn't make sense. Um, so what we have here is we have the, the same gate that we had in the last slide. We have uh, the NOR latch, and we have another NOR latch going into each other. And then we have an inverted, outp or inverted output and a non-inverted output. So yes, that, that makes sense, right? And then we have two AND gates here. Uh, and the purpose of these is, if you look at this, this is the clock. So whenever we want to load data in, we can load it in whenever we need to. Not, it won't just load in whenever we uh, turn it on, because that would not be good for making loads of memory. So, um, and then we also have the this, and what this does is controls whether it's on or off. So, um, whenever we hit this clock line, this will turn off. If this is on, this will turn on, 
and whenever we hit the clock line, it will release whatever value is in here. So it kind of acts like an update switch. So you have this on, um, nothing happens until you hit the update. So um, that is pretty much it for the D flip flop. Um, and if you like this video, go ahead and uh, like it. If you want to see more, I make videos like this or related to computers uh, just about every day so you can go ahead and check out my other videos but yeah I will see you later